In this section, I'm going to show you how to create a new site from a template using an already created sample page that's part of the Dreamweaver package. Templates allow you to easily create pre-made pages and replicate design changes that you can use site-wide. If you were to put all of your content on one page, there's a possibility that it could feel cluttered and also take a long time to load. In most cases, separating pages into sections with links allows you to introduce your audience to your vision in small doses. So what I'm going to do now is show you how to create a new page from template. So you go up to File, New. You select Blank Page. The page type is going to be HTML Template. And it will have an extension .dwt at the end of it. And then we also need to select the page type. And I'm going to go over some of these features. The first feature is the columns. Um, one column versus three columns. This is all dependent on what kind of information you're going to display on your site and how much information. If your site's going to be small and limited, a one column design is great as you don't have to put a lot of content on your page then a basic this is a basic design that works really well some people like two columns because they need maybe links on one side and information on the other and then there's also three columns where you have links on one side main content in the in the middle column and then on the third column you might have uh, news or relevant other relevant information that needs to be displayed along with the other content and then we're, talk, we're looking at the different styles of the page. We have elastic, fixed, and liquid. Elastic has to do with accessibility. When you create a site, you're trying to create a site that can be viewable as much as possible by all visitors. And every visitor has a different form, a different platform that they view your site in. Some people may go there using an iPhone actually or maybe a small laptop and then maybe you know a desktop with a really big screen and Elastic allows the page to resize based on the user's input inside of the web browser so if they want to zoom the size of the page the Elastic design will move will resize with it will the whole does the whole the design will resize itself based on what the user uh, does with his keyboard or with his mouse maybe selecting a zoom or resizing a different part of your page everything will resize together very fluidly and then we have a lot also the fixed design fixed designs are being less used now because the design itself does not resize. But fix can have its uses. If you want to have a, a specific style, you have, if you have a specific style in mind, and you know this style may have borders all the way around your content, um, an elastic or fluid design or liquid design isn't going to work really well. It's going to be very hard to implement it. You have to be very good at that. Be very careful about using fixed designs. If you, if you, if you can avoid it, you don't use it because that will allow, because it will force people into a 8x6, 800x600 dimension or 600x400 four, dimension that can't be resized on, on each and every platform and so what will happen is people will be looking at your site and half your site will be on the screen and half your site will be off the screen. And then the final uh, the final one, the final design is called liquid and a liquid allows you to the liquid design allows you to the whole page to resize itself based on the dimensions of the window or the, the web browser screen, the web browser window or the whole screen itself. Now that doesn't mean the text and everything resumes, it gets bigger and smaller. It just means that the paragraphs reformat themselves and the graphics 
move based on the size of the window or the size of the computer screen or the user screen. So I usually like to use liquid designs because I I like the way I like the way they resize themselves. Basically, it looks good on every screen, no matter what no, no matter what the size of the screen is. So I like using that, and for this purposes, we're going to use it. So I'm going to select one column, liquid, and it's going to be centered. You can also choose left or right sidebars. That's it's just dependent on what you want. So one column liquid centered, and then the header and footer, it has to do with whether or not you need a space for your web des um, your website name, and then the footer can also be used for other information, such as contact information or maybe links that you want to put at the bottom of your page. And then finally, we're going to talk about the layout CSS. CSS is a file that contains code that the template uses to create the design of your site. So they work hand in hand, the CSS file and the template. So let's select, instead of using add to head, we're going to choose create a new file. And that creates one file that all the pages uses, that, that all the pages use based on the template.